Since we're on the subject of dovetails, what about a sliding dovetail? Oh, well, that's extremely easy, really quick. Let's just draw some plywood. P for push-pull, and give it a thickness of 0.75 inches. And let's draw another piece. Let me back up real quick. Let's 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 draw the actual slot first. All right. So T for tape measure, and I'm going to draw a vertical reference that is right there. That's where I want my sliding dovetail to be. Uh, I want it to be 0.75 inches wide, and I want it to have a depth of point. I don't know, 375. That's the wrong direction. Let's delete that. T for tape measure, let's go down the blue axis. There we go. 0.375, enter. And let's use our protractor from this point, referencing off of our vertical guideline, and go over 15 degrees, enter. From here, over 15 degrees, enter. Alpha line. And I can just draw my little cutout here. Space bar, and let's select these guidelines and delete them. They are no longer no longer needed. Delete that. So P for push pull. And let's push this sliding dovetail slot all the way to this back edge. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. Now we can simply just use our references down here to draw the vertical piece. So R for rectangle from here. And let's go all the way to this back corner here. And say right there. Let's go back to where it was. And P for push pull. Let's give this a height of 5. Now because this is model space, remember the... Uh, intersecting faces tools is extremely powerful so let's right click the actual component intersecting faces with the model and that drew my little shape here that I can P for push pull chop this all the way off the back grab this one too and push it all the way to this back edge referencing off of that space bar triple click G for component enter let's drop some red on here for reference. Now I have a nice sliding dovetail that goes all the way back. Let's go back to there you go. Stay on green. Sliding dovetail joint. 